announcing the video challenges for the upcoming Summer Biannual Bibliothon of 2016. We will also be announcing the giveaway books that you can win by entering. And if you missed it, our next Bibliothon will be from Sunday, July 3rd through Saturday, July 9th of 2016. And we have seven totally new video challenges that we hope you all will enjoy. One thing we've tried to do together as hosts is make these challenges a little less filming intensive and more creative thinking focused just because when all of these challenges they're said and done and we're getting them all ready to be uploaded we get so exhausted preparing for them that we needed a little break and we just wanted to let those creative juices flow. But the video challenges are definitely one of the best parts of this readathon and we're announcing these super early so you guys can get a leg up on pre-filming to have everything prepared for the week. All of the guidelines for all of these giveaways are going to be mentioned at the end of this video as well as in the description box so make sure to check it out there. Without further ado here are the video challenges. So I'm going to be your host for Sunday the first day of the biannual bibliothon and the challenge for my day is going to be message in a bottle. So essentially the message in a bottle challenge is basically where you write a letter to your favorite character. So this could be from your own perspective writing to your favorite character like for example I could write to Jem Carstairs and tell him how much I love him. Or it doesn't have to be from your own perspective you could write between characters in a book for example you could write a letter from Clary to Jace in the Mortal Instruments series and it could be super snarky and funny or you could do something more serious like writing to your favorite book character about how their story changed your life. I feel like with this challenge you have a lot of creative control so feel free to make this video as creative as you want it to be. You could do something really simple like filming yourself just writing the letter or you could have a really nice artsy video with a voiceover to accompany it. It's really up to you what you decide to do with this challenge. And the winner of this challenge is going to be receiving one of my favorite books and that is Illusions of Fate by Kirsten White. On day two the challenge will be character channel takeover. Let any book character take control over your channel for the day. For example, you could do a book character doing a daily vlog or interviewing somebody or doing a get ready with me. Anyway, I'm sure anything you guys do will be absolutely awesome and I'm going to be giving away Starcrossed by Josephine Angelini. I know it's an old book so if you've got it already, I'll be willing to switch it up for you. And I will be hosting Tuesday day three of the biannual bibliothon and the video challenge for that day is redesign a cover. Have you ever had those books that you absolutely love but the covers, the covers are so terrible you would rather rip your eyes out than ever have to look at that cover again or maybe the cover's not so bad but it doesn't really represent the book. Well now's your opportunity to finally create the cover that that book deserves. You could paint it, you could draw it, you could do a photo shoot, you could make a video. Just let those creative passions flow. Here's your opportunity to do justice for one or several of your favorite books. The winner for this challenge will be receiving The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black, one of my absolute favorite YA paranormal suspense novels. This book just takes vampires to a very dark, sadistic, and wonderfully creative new level. And you guys have the opportunity to win it and read it and love it. And I'm your host for Wednesday, day four, and the challenge for day four is the creative book review. That's right, I'm not hosting a DIY challenge. So with the creative book review, we know that a lot of booktubers tend to struggle with filming book reviews. So we wanna help you out with that. We want to encourage you to film a book review. So for this challenge, you're gonna be filming a book review, but you're gonna be doing it in a creative way. You can try doing your book review while doing the Chubby Bunny Challenge, you can do it while you're doing your makeup. You could do it while baking. You could do it in the style of a poem or singing. Whatever you want to do, the floor is open. It just has to be creative. So you're filming a book review, but you're doing it in a creative way. And we will be picking the winner by who had the most creative book review. So don't just get on and review your book. Make sure that you do it in some creative way fun way. And the book that I will be giving away for this challenge is The Diviners by Libba Bray. Hey what's up hello my name is Emma and I am your host for Thursday day five of the biannual bibliothon. The title for day five's challenge is The Missing Scene. As readers, a lot of us are lucky enough to see our favorite stories come to life on movies or TV, but we do get to miss out on some of our favorite scenes when the books go from page to screen. So this challenge is intended to make up for all of the producer's mistakes, and we are allowing you guys to reenact your favorite book scene that was cut out of its 
adaptation. You can either reenact this scene absolutely perfectly to a T, or you can make some changes as to how you would like to see it, but the only rule is that it cannot be in the TV or movie adaptation of that book. So you may want to take this time to brush up on some of the finer details from your favorite books and their respective movie and TV shows, but with this challenge you have total creative freedom on how you want to make your proper adaptation. And the book I am going to be giving away for the winner of this challenge is a pre-order for Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by J.K. Rowling. So while most of the winners will probably be receiving their giveaway books probably halfway through the month of July, you will receive yours as soon as Harry Potter and the Cursed Child chips, because I really want to give away this book to someone special, so I really hope you guys enjoy this challenge. Hey guys, so on day six, which is a Friday, July 8th, I will be your host. The day six video challenge is titled, What Would I Do? In this video challenge, you will insert yourself into a book scene. How would you react to some of the situations our favorite characters get themselves into? For example, you could be at your local favorite club dancing with some friends and you see Jace Waylon, Izzy, and Alec murder someone. What would you do? Or you can be on vacation at your cabin with your family and Hagrid busts in telling you you're a wizard going to Hogwarts. What would you do? So anything along those lines is what we're looking for for this challenge and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. And the winner for this video challenge will be winning Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. Hey nerds, what's up? I'm Cass and I'm going to be hosting day seven of the biannual bibliothon with the scavenger hunt challenge. We enjoyed the bibliothon tag so much last year. It gave us so much feedback and all that stuff and if you still want to do the bibliothon tag we'll have a link down below for all of the questions in case you do still want to do that. But we decided to make a challenge for this biannual bibliothon. Each of our hosts has chosen an item from some of the most popular YA novels that we just love here on booktube. We want you to find that item and show it to us. So the first scavenger hunt item is right here. This was the item chosen by Momo. The second thing you have to find in the scavenger hunt comes from Percy Jackson and it is a tree because of Thalia's tree. This one was chosen by Selena. The third item was chosen by Red and it is a creepy doll from the Mara Dyer trilogy. Then Kelly chose Harry Potter's glasses from the Harry Potter series and Emma chose a witch light from the Mortal Instruments. Megan over at Megan Precourt chose an antique key from the archive by Victoria Schwab. And lastly, I chose Edward's jacket that he gives Bella over at the dinner scene in Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. Don't get too freaked out because I know some of those are very specific. You do not necessarily have to find items that are existing in the world to do this. You can get as creative as you want. Draw all seven of these. Do animation of all seven of these. Like make a cartoon of it going, somebody going around and finding them. It really doesn't matter. Just as long as you have some sort of representation of these, you can go out and literally vlog yourself finding a tree. We are open to anything and everything in this challenge, so get creative, figure out how you want to do this. Excited to see what you all come out up with for these challenges. And whoever gets chosen for doing this challenge is going to win a signed copy of Echoes by Laura Tisdall. And there it is, a signature, Laura Tisdall. So this is it. This is what you get. So those are all of the video challenges for the Summer Biannual Bibliothon of 2016. We do also have another giveaway for those of you who are super dedicated to the Biannual Bibliothon. Anyone who uploads all seven days and hasn't already won a video challenge will be entered into a special giveaway so that we can recognize how much effort you put in this week. Eighth winner is going to win $20 to go on to Book Depository and get whatever they want that's under a $20 limit. All of the regular video challenge guidelines apply to this giveaway as well. Each winner for the seven giveaway challenges will be personally picked by the host of that day. For those of you who are worried about our selection process for the winners of the giveaways, we like to base our decision on effort instead of, you know, video quality and that sort of thing. Basically, we just want to pick someone who looks like they're, they're having fun and really really care about the bibliothon and care about the community and that sort of stuff. So just be yourself 
and that's all you need. <laughs> the requirements sent to the giveaway are pretty simple, and they will always be linked in the description of all of our videos on this channel. In order for your entry to count, you must link your video entry in the comment section of that corresponding daily video on this YouTube channel by 12 PST that day. So say you filmed and uploaded a video for day five's video challenge. So on day five, on Thursday of the Buy a New Bibliothon, you will have to go to this Buy a New Bibliothon YouTube channel and link that video in the descriptions of that daily video. You must be 18 years or older or have your parents permission because we will need your shipping address to send your book to you. All of these giveaways are going to be international as long as Book Depository links to you. The link to find out if your country is on the Book Depository list will be linked down below so you can make sure to check that out. If you have any questions or concerns regarding the video challenges or just anything biannual bibliothon related in general, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below or contact us on our Twitter which is at bibliothon. You can also contact each of the hosts on their various social media accounts or on their individual YouTube channel, which will be listed in the description below. Don't forget to look out for our pre bibliothon live show that we'll be hosting somewhere around June, and it's just an opportunity for all of the hosts to get together and discuss past bibliothons, our hopes for the upcoming bibliothon, and just an overall opportunity to be able to interact with you guys and your thoughts. The date and time for that live show will be announced on our Twitter, so make sure you're following at B Bibliothon for all of the last minute updates we may have for you guys. Also, within the coming weeks, we are going to be announcing the reading challenges for this Bibliothon, so you guys have enough time to work on your TBR, so keep an eye out for that as well. We are all so excited to see what you guys have in store for us this coming Bibliothon. Thank you all so much for your participation in the biannual Bibliothon, and we will be seeing you very soon with the reading challenges announcement. Bye!